Thing, Mr. Benjamin Morrell at uh, Latham Headquarters. It's March 21, 2001. Interviewer is Michael Akey. Videographer is uh, Wayne Clark. Uh, Mr. Morrell, you were born where, sir? Torrance, Connecticut. Torrance, Connecticut. Uh, 1980. Okay. Uh, how long were you in Connecticut? Uh, about, uh, about three years old. I okay. came back to Hudson. You came to Hudson, New York. Yeah. Well, my <coughs> my family uh, lived there, and my father went over to Connecticut. He was a work, he was a molder, okay. and he worked over there. And then he uh, then my, when I was born, I was born over there. My my I had another brother that was supposed to be born over there, but my mother didn't like the midwife, mm -hmm. and she came back to Hudson. So That's you that's where he was born. You went to school in Hudson? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, went through high school? No. Nope. No? Okay. No, I went to college of hard knocks. <laughs> what did you do when you got out of uh, school? Well, I I wanted to be a fighter, you know. And, uh, so I, uh, that's where the money, you know, it was, the money was as far. And I did that for for uh, I went in 36 until 45. So how'd you become a fighter? Well, I I used to go around and my brother was a boxer. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, and I won. So uh, I wanted to, you know, be a fighter. And, and that's how I used to work with him. And one day he took me into a Room beat the hell out of me. He said, "You still want to be a fighter?" I said, "Yeah." So he was, you know, he was a, so, and I, you know, I fought all over New York State. They have a gym down in Hudson that you went to. Boys club. Boys club. Okay. And uh, <coughs> did you go professional right off? No, I was fought amateurs. I fought in Albany, Golden Gloves. Mm -hmm. I fought in the Diamond Belt Championships. What weight class? 126, then 136. Okay. Then when, when I went in the Army, I was 146. What was it like being a, uh, a fighter back then? Well, hey, uh, it was good because I did very good, you know, money. Money-wise, I had a car, 18, you know, but... Uh, so I, you know, I used to, sometimes I made, uh, when I started, they used to give me $5. Then, then after that, I ended up getting $30 for main goals. See, I become a main goal fighter. Mm -hmm. So I fought all over New York State. So you boxed in, in primarily in New York? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, when did you uh, enlist in the Army? I got in the Army in 19, uh, what was this? January, let's see, January 15th, uh, 1941. Okay, so this was uh, before Pearl Harbor. What, uh, what made you join the Army? Well, I volunteered. I, 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 wanted, to, I wanted to fight, mm -hmm. you know, as a, as a soldier. And, uh, then it, I was I was there for four years, seven months. Where uh, now? Where, did you join out of Hudson? Did well, you? no, from Albany. In Albany. Yeah, I went to got my physical there, and, I was, and then I went to Dix from there. What was it like down at Fort Dix? And no good. It was winter time. We were in tents with holes in it, froze. Not bad. You didn't like basic training down there. Well, we wasn't there long enough to get to get paid. We had them went to North Carolina, Fort Bragg. What was that like? That was not bad. You know, we, we had they just finished doing the barracks when we got there. Mm -hmm. so, I was I, I was there for about maybe 12, 14 months. Mm -hmm. uh, how was uh, basic training for you? Well, it was it was tough. You know. Uh, 
they, uh, for, you know, after a while, I, uh, you know, I, be, I got to know, you know, because I was in the National Guards before I went oh, in really? the Army. Yeah. Well, now, when did you join the National Guard? When I was 16. Oh, really? <laughs> Out of Hudson? Yeah. Uh, that was uh, what unit down there? That was a 10th? Uh, that was a... Uh, that was, uh, it was one of the companies of the 10th New York. Yeah. Well, it was in the uh, 27th Division. Yeah, right. Um, so you were out of the old uh, Hudson Armory. What was, uh, what was uh, joining the guard like back in uh, those days? Oh, bad news. Why is that? <laughs> well, I, when I went, you know, it was guys there, they had, it was all, uh, there were certain guys that got in that, you know, we were, uh, well to do, and they treated them a lot better than than the guys that came from downtown. But, really? Uh, oh yeah. And then finally, uh, see, when I would, then I was a boxer. They found out I fought. We went to Camp Smith, mm -hmm. and I boxed there, and I kicked the hell out of a guy. And after that, oh, that was a, you know, it was top notch. So your stock rose after that? Yeah, <laughs> before that. It was, it was, so I stayed there. You know, then after, I didn't get along with the officer, but I got out. I was there for a couple of years. Okay. Uh, would you drill weekly or monthly? No, once a, yeah, it was once a week. Once a week. What was drill like back then? Well, it was tough because them guys didn't take no crap, really? you know. They didn't like it, but the funny part about it, when I got, if I didn't volunteer, the next group that went after me went to the 27th Division, mm -hmm. and I would have been in, <laughs> with that group, and my brother was in that group, and I'm, I'm glad I didn't go with that because I didn't, I didn't get along with it, the, but they wanted me to go. Mm -hmm. Before, because they wanted, they wanted me as a boxer, you know, because at that time, boxing was big in the Army. Mm -hmm. I could, I, after a while, I'll tell you, when I was in Europe, I'll tell you, yeah. So you got out of the, the guard unit prior to them being federalized? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got, I got more money, too, you know, because uh, being in there for a couple of years. So that, that helped you when you uh, enlisted? Okay. Yeah, they gave you more money. Yeah. So now, after basic training, uh, what did you do? Well, then I went to. Uh, I, I became a. They found out that I was a fighter. Mm -hmm. Right. So then they, you know, I boxed around. But I still was in the medics. That's what I got when the medics. Eh? So anyway, uh, they asked me. Uh, you know, the box, so I said, no, I, I had enough for it because I, I fought, in the, I fought, I was fighting pro. Mm -hmm. And then I had, you know, I had a, so I figured out, no, I didn't want no more. So, well, they, they made me box anyway. There's no bullshit. They made me box. Really? Yeah. So I boxed, went to Charlotte. And we, you know, went to, so I got beat. So the guy come up, the officer come up, and hey, you, and all that, and start jumping all over me, you yelling, all that stuff. I said, okay. So I just, I, I, if I had to, didn't know how to get back to the camp, I would have took off. But I stuck around, then some guy from a, a champ from Hawaii come. Uh, he was a champ of uh, his weight. So he asked me if I would, or didn't ask me, Nobody wanted to volunteer to fight him. So I said, I'll fight him. And he said, yeah, get the hell out of here. He said, you ain't going to get your head knocked off? I said, yeah. He said, oh, give me a shot. So finally they did. He couldn't, nobody wanted to fight him because they didn't, he was a champ mm -hmm. from Hawaii. You know? So I went in there. I kicked the hell out of him. <laughs> and then he came over to me. He said, James, I said, I told you they didn't want to fight. He said, gee, don't then all that. So then after that, we went out, you know, I made the team. I was boxing. 
you know, I came back, mm -hmm. you know, we got, so I, I fought in the, all over the, I won a ninth division championship. Mm -hmm. I went into, you know, and then from there we got, we went overseas. I think, I mean, now we went, uh, ready to, well, what was, well, I stayed around for a while, you know, in, uh, in Fort Bragg, I fought around, I boxed around there a lot for the division. So then I won a division championship. What division was this? Ninth. Ninth. Yeah. Then from there, when we went overseas, you know, we went to, went to England first. Then uh, from there, we, uh, we, well, we invaded we invaded uh, North Al uh, Algiers, but we had the East English Ace Army come in with us. Right. So then we, you know, we went in there, and that's when I, you know, I went through all that, you know, stuff there. So then from there we went to North. I finished North Africa. I got. I was in El Qatar, and I got. I went up there and, uh, <clears throat> and I had, I don't know if you want me to tell you about what happened. Sure. So they sent me, I was just a private. Mm -hmm. And I, I was, I, you know, I had a lot of guts. I, I was scared too. So they said to me, you got to go up, up to the front with the four litter bears. So I go up. I went up with these four litter bears, and Jesus went up there, and all hell was blowing. It was shooting all over. Guys were hit all over the place. So, so I uh, called the litter bears. I went like that, and when I, I turned around, and looked, and they were they were gone. Never came back. Never seen them. Never, never left. You know, they went over the hill. So I'm there all along. But the, then the guy that was there, was sergeant, he got shot in the back, and I, he he was helping me. He didn't know he was shot in the back. So, so we, what I then after I said, let's, we hit him, you know, we get him, hit him. I said, Geez, I got to get some help. So I went. I told him, I'll go down to the second armored division. Was there because they were fighting everything with the tanks and then some infantry. So I went over and I says to the guy, uh, the colonel, and, the, and this, I said, I need help. I said, I got a bunch of kid, the guys up there that's hurt. I need an ambulance. So, so they, he told this guy, he said, you go up with him. So he went, he come up, went up there with me in the, so we put the guys all up in the ambulance. So we're coming back. And this guy shot in the back. I put him in here. So I said, said the guy, take this road here. And that's, I don't remember what happened after that. Because in 88, hit the ambulance. Mm. So all I know, I was running. I don't know what the hell, how the hell I got out of that ambulance to this day. So, then finally I came true. So I came back, and I took over, took these guys that all got hit again, and the driver had his head almost blown off. And the guy was talking to me, he got hit. All I, I, all I got knocked out. So I took over, we took all the guys out again, hit them again. So, I went over. Look for help. So it was a lieutenant that was coming and, and another guy that but they got hit too when that when that eighty eight hit the hit the ambulance. So I went over there and looked for so finally I stopped a black guy where they had a half fat black truck and I got him over and I we put all the guys on top of there. So so then Messerschmitt started coming, strafing. So he was going to jump out. The black, I said, hold it. 
I grabbed the gun from one of the guys because I don't have no, I don't have no gun, so I said, I'll blow here, you know. So each day, we, they missed us. Mm -hmm. So I got them in, I got them all in, all, you know. And uh, there were, well, most of them were hit pretty bad, you know. So they, so the next day, you know, I went, so the next day, he says to me, the, the captain, he says, you got to go up again, up again. I said, Jesus Christ, I can't go up there now. What's the matter with you? <laughs> you know, I sent somebody else. So he said, okay. He said, yeah, you did. You. So anyway, he did send a guy up with the doctor. And the doctor, they ran over a mine. <laughs> they never came back. So I said, see? So then, uh, then after that, we... Uh, we, you know, we broke through and all that stuff. Well, what was North Africa like? Well, it was nothing. You know, Algiers was, it wasn't bad, you know. And mm -hmm. Iran, I was in both. And after, you know, we, but there was a lot of fighting. You know, we had a lot of fighting. Mm -hmm. Then we went to Kasserine Pass. Then from there, we went all the way up to Mesita. So you uh, not were Mesita, at Mesita, but what the hell was the name? Went all the way up to the end of uh, the war, you know, when it ended. So, uh, were you at Kasserine Pass? Tunisia, no. We went all the way up to Tunisia. Mm -hmm. The Kasserine Pass, they were everybody, we were ready, they told, uh, told us, every, the officers said, everybody's on their own. Because they really did a job. We're the most poorly equipped. Army to ever fought and, buy, and fight. We didn't have nothing for Christ's sake. That was, you know, they kicked the hell out of us. So, Who was the division commander at the time? Uh, we had uh, one guy, uh, well, Patton was there once. When I, you know, Pat was in charge of the 7th, 7th Corps. Then mm -hmm. he got relieved. Because he was fighting with the tanks, and they were kicking the shit out of the tanks. They didn't have a chance, you know. So they, that's when they, we went up with the infantry. That's when I, you know. And then, uh, then after that, they, uh, we broke through, you know. And uh, then they got hooked up in the Castree Pass. Holy Christ. Then the officer said, you're on your own. A lot of guys ended up in Casablanca. That's a thousand miles. <laughs> So what'd you think of that? So I said, "What the? I thought we were going to get the, you know, I didn't think we were ever going to make it. Mm -hmm. Because, Jesus, we didn't have nuts in there. We had them millimeter, uh, you know, the, what, the 37th. That's all we had. And they knocked them out like it was on a tank. Mm -hmm. and they, they had that uh, tank that they had. They could go in the air, everything. So after uh, you got to Tunisia, um, what happened after Tunisia? Went to Sicily. So you're part of the invasion we, of Sicily. We invaded Sicily. Uh, what was landing in Sicily like? Well, we the paratroopers were coming in, and our navy knocked them out, knocked a bunch of them out. Mm -hmm. And we were before we even hit the deck. Then we found, you know, then. The, uh, and after that, we got, we went in, we went up to fires, ran dazzle, then we got bogged down. Mm -hmm. so, well, see, what I'm doing, I'm going ahead of my story. When I was in Africa, I, I, I was a private, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't make PFC, even then. So, when I got, after the, they called me out in Africa, right? They called me a general. General Eddie called me out. That's who was our general. So I went out and I got the Silver Star. And then they, uh, I made sergeant. I couldn't even make PFC in the States. You made the, you got the Silver That's Star for the action with the ambulance? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the guys I say, I, you know, I brought in. And then I got, uh, <laughs> then I got, you know, the, 
So I made charge. It's quite a jump. Jesus, I know it. <laughs> what do you think uh, about being a sergeant? Well, I was, uh, you know, I, well, I did. I was, most of the guys was, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't go out. They were scared. You know, our sergeant was a, he wouldn't go out in Foxhole. The guy was uh, in charge. Really? Then he made me in charge after that. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, then uh, I went, when we got to Sicily, you know, then I, uh, then we got, I went, we had pretty tough over there too. So I uh, got in there, we got into Cephalo, and he started raining like hell and a god darn thing started going down into the ocean. <laughs> so we got out of that, but yeah, and then we went up up to Randazzo, and that's where we had a lot of, I had a, I even had a, a jeep then, and I got into hell knocked out. They knocked the shit out of that. I was in a culvert, and they pulled one right in the culvert. So. What were the duties of a, a medic at that point? Well, we, see, we were a, like aid men. You know, anybody got hit out in the field, we had, a, you know, they hollered, they, they, they would holler, Doc, you had to go, you know, you had to go. Mm -hmm. So you were in a forward aid station? Yeah, I was at, well, I was in the aid station, but I were, we had to go out, I had to go out and pick the guys. See, we had litter jeeps. You could put five guys on. Oh, really? Yeah. How did they, uh, how did that work? Well, you put two in the front, one over, and two, you know, the, or two on top. Mm -hmm. So uh, what happened? Uh, that's why I, you know we uh, then I had that's what I had. Mm -hmm. You know, for, uh, and, and the, you know the captain used to uh, the doctor used to rival. They didn't know the doctors didn't know anything. <laughs> you know they just came and they pulled them out and made it. They made him a captain or something. They didn't they didn't know nothing. You know and we you know I did hell I. I <laughs> I'd take orders from him, man. What the hell? With the Jeep's marked Red Cross? Yeah. Took that. That's what, that was the trouble. We got hit all the time. Then I took all the stuff off. The Red Cross, I took all that off. So basically the Red Cross was making a better target. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what they did. They knocked the ambulance out. They knocked the Jeep out. You know, and then they were shooting at me all the time. I took all that stuff and took it off. So, but now, were you, uh, did you have a sidearm at all? Uh, a pistol or? No, no. no. Completely no. unarmed? If I had a gun and they caught me, I would, they would have done a job on me. Because I had, to, I had a little card with my picture on it. And it said the medics. Okay. Red Cross, I had a Red Cross thing on so the move up through Sicily was pretty tough. Oh yeah, well, we you know we had it tough. Then I got to minefield. Uh, so we're up in the front, right? Mm -hmm. So they come on the met. They got us out of the front. Me and the dot. Me and the captain went. <laughs> so we went back. And he said. Uh, so he said, I don't want to go in there. I said, I don't want to go neither. They had a bandage, you know. And so these guys are all hollering, I hear, you know. So finally, he said, well, we got to go. So we go up because they, and the, so the medics are in there. They they got hit. And the guys, the engineers were in there. They got it. Then there was a guy running around with the goddamn thing, and he got it. So <laughs> I'm going in there, guys. Me and him went in there. The guy had his arm now off, leg off. And he saw, and he, then he said, I had him like this. He said, down with the Germans. He died in my arms. Mm -hmm. uh, all them guys, got it. it was a mess, you know. That, and when the guy had that detector, shit, he got hit. It's not a good sign. I know, that's so why I said to him, I, what the, what the <laughs> then when we come out, after it was all over, was all done. That guy, the guy with the thing, the engineer there, he must have hit the last mine.
because all them guys are there before they all hit mines, you know, they all, <laughs> they all had legs blown off and all that stuff. So we try, you couldn't, what the hell could you do? You know, there was, you know, so we did the best we can and then we went back. So guy said, the major said, what the hell would you do to Jesus? What, how'd you, what's your name? Well, I got to take care of this. You know, never, I never heard nothing. So then we, after that, we, you know, we went all the way to Messina. You know, we broke through. Mm -hmm. So then, they, then we, we all, the one day we're all, at, uh, after the Sicily camp, they were all lined up uh, to go to Italy because Angio had a tough there, right? Mm -hmm. So we're all waiting, you know, to, to go there. So then they called it off because they quieted it down. So we get, so then we had to pull out. So they got, we got on ships. So they said, uh, where are you going to go now? It was just like being in the home. They didn't tell us where we were going to go. <coughs> so we, we end up, it's, we end up back in England. So we're there, I was there for about five months. So what were you doing in England at that? Well, I, I won the regimental championship, right? So then they, they gave me a five day pass and I went to London, right? When I come back, they said, uh, <coughs> report the division. I thought I was getting Shanghai. I said, no, I said, what, what's going on? They wouldn't tell me. So I went to the division. So Eisenhower put an order out that each division should have a, a boxing team. So I made the boxing team. So I won, uh, you know, I won the DTO championship. We toured with Joe Lewis. Yeah, what was he like? A good guy, good guy. Yeah, he was a good guy. So. We went to a banquet they had there with him. But anyway, we, uh, I fought with him in uh, Southampton. And he was on the card. I didn't fight him. He was on. Then we went to uh, uh, Bristol. He was there then. But I, I boxed again that night. And I lost in a seventh score championship. I won a seventh score championship. I lost in the Army championship. So, uh, being a boxer in the army was life a little better for you than? Oh yeah, when I well, but no, I you know let me see when I got, I I did that when uh, you know we did it for the troops, and like when Lewis was there, oh, we were there five months, in in England, and Lewis came there. She, that we when he fought that night, they had thousands of troop of men. All over the outside, it was over the hills, you know, around the hills, like. <laughs> and they, and we all boxed that night too. And that was, uh, that's how much you know. The, the Eisenhower wanted to box him. He, he loved boxing. So that's why we all did. And then, uh, see, I thought we even had trained. We had our own cooks, mm -hmm. our own waiters. Uh, you know, and then our own PX. Then we had to. Special barrack in Winchester, England. We were, you know, a special place. <coughs> so then, from, you know, we used to fight out of there. So as long as your boxing life was pretty good. Oh yeah, I did it. I did. I like to do it for, you know, I did it for the troop. I didn't have to do it, but I, you know, I did it. And then after that, uh, they busted up, they busted the, <coughs> the outfit up. We, you know, we went, to, went and then we went in D plus three in France. So, went there right off the bat, the, the best fighter we had on the team got killed. Killed right off the bat. But uh, we, uh, then there, we were in France, Jesus Christ. We, you know, went there, it was, uh, it was, you know, a lot. They were taking guys like they were coming down with gliders. They didn't go any place. They, they were guys, they were making 20 f foot. Lat long or 20, 30 feet long, you know, throwing the guys in from the glider. Now, uh, <coughs> when did you land in France? Was this? Uh... Three plus three. 
D plus three. Yeah. What was it like landing at Normandy? Oh, it was tough. You know, it was still tough. Then the first guys got it worse than we did. Mm -hmm. You know, then we would. Then what happened? We got in uh, to break through to St. Low, you know. So what happened? Uh, Normandy. Or the, I'm going ahead of myself. Before. Before that happened, no, yeah. Before that happened, uh, to break the breakthrough, say, the plane we had the three thousand planes came over. Well, one thousand hit perfect because they had the markers. The next two thousand hit on us, killed a bunch of guys. Killed General McNair. He got killed, and uh, a lot of guys catching crews. They knocked them all out, and. Uh, and then I had a guy that was from Hudson that got hit in the head. So I grabbed him, and we ran all the way. Every time we were running, we got knocked on our ass from the bombs, <laughs> our bombs. So I went all the way to the sea. Then after that, we come back, and Christ said, well, it took a little while to get organized because they hit all the, you know, the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So we... We took, uh, we got there, then we broke through. What was it like breaking through? Well, it was hard until we got uh, around, what the hell was it? Uh, we got trapped next time. <coughs> right after that, you know, they, the Germans trapped us. You were uh, still with the 9th Division at that point? No, 39th. Yeah. yeah, that was, you know, with them. And then, uh, 39th Division. 39th. No, arm, 39th Infantry. 39th Infantry. Okay. What, um, 39th Infantry is what corps? Do you remember? We're in the 7th Corps. 7th Corps. Oh, so you're in the, you're in the, okay. I won the 7th Corps Championship. Oh, really? Yeah. That's about four or five divisions. Okay. Um, so you broke out. Around St. Lo? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was because of our planes. Uh, that <laughs> they hit. They they were perfect. The thousand, first thousand. The hell when they, after that, but uh, when the other two came. What did you feel? How'd you feel when you're being bombed by your own air force? Oh shit! You know what the we're knocking on. You know. It's, then uh, then we we went over the next day. The goddamn. Uh, so what the hell did P38 start coming? They were strafing this. We didn't know what the hell it do. And uh, once you broke out, where where did you end up? Well, we ended up in uh, Belgium. Belgium, okay. Yeah. And, uh, what army were you in at that point? I was in the first. First army? Yeah. Well, it was with Bradley. Okay. And. Uh, where in Belgium were you? Well, we went through, uh, uh, what the hell was it? Uh, you see, most of the, it was over the Moose River. We had to go over that. Mm -hmm. Then we were going over that, and I was going over with another guy. And geez, the guy comes down, and Christ, you had to shoot him because he's a German. <laughs> we're lucky you got the hell out of him. And finally, you know, we went up and they, they, they had us dead to rights. They were, you know, which really uh, throwing everything, they throwing everything, but they catch the sick at us. Uh, is this at the Bulge? No, the, or the Moose River. Moose? Moose River. Okay. <laughs> so. So how did you cross that? With uh, the engineer. Uh, Bridges? No, we had them boats. The boats? What they were they like? Well, it wasn't bad, but, you know, we all, you know, so, but they were, you know, we went in there with, it wasn't big boats. Mm -hmm. The ones, you know, like LSTs, it wasn't that, you know, so. so. once you got across, uh, what happened next? Well, we had, we got barred down because they had snipers all over the place. They killed one guy, one of our men right away. So then we... 
waited there for a while until then finally uh, we got help with tanks and like that. Mm -hmm. We broke through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we, from there, we, we went all the way up to, went to Germany. Then uh, went into Germany, you know, we got near the Zigfield line. What was that like? Well, that was, well, see, we're in the Hurtgen Forest. You were in a Hurtgen. Describe the, the forest. What was, uh, that like anything you'd ever seen before? Well, Germany, it was mostly something like the houses. We used to go in the house, they were beautiful homes. But they had all the straw, you know, and, or what the hell was they had on. But they, they had beautiful homes, mm -hmm. you know, and we were, <coughs> we were told not to go in. So you had to uh, sleep outside. What did you think of that? Well, it was, we had, a, we had a, a doctor, he was, half, he was German. Part German, and uh, we know where you know, but he would. He wouldn't let us go in, a, you know, into the houses. Did uh, <coughs> excuse me? Sir. We're going to change tapes now. All right. Doing very well. Well, I'll tell you, I had it tough. I really, uh, you know, if, even though, you know, I did put the boxing and all like that, uh, you know. I did it for, I didn't have to do that. Like I said in the beginning, I didn't want no part of it because I had a bad taste of it when I was in the, you know, when I was fighting pro. But, uh, I, I, in fact, I said I never would fight again. Really? It was, uh, what but, didn't you like about it? Well, I had these guys, that, <laughs> these managers, you know, they're all Jewish, and they all clipped you. <laughs> they, get, they threw you to the wolves. Mm -hmm. so. so they were making money, and uh... yeah, they did. They, they, uh, you know, it's, uh, but I like, you know, and then I went to the, you know, when I got in, uh, see, when I got into the Germany, well, I'll tell you after me. was like? It was all trees. All trees? All tre trees. They had a lot of tree birds. A lot of guys got hit by the tree birds. You know, there were a bunch of us in there. And with, you know, I would, a lot of, well, you know, I had to take care of guys. They went, the pill, uh, the pill boxes were near there, too. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I understand it was rather wet. Yeah. Always wet. Yeah, well, you know, it was, was dry at that, didn't you know, but, but uh, I, I was there maybe uh, a couple of weeks, then I got knocked out. See. How'd that happen? Well, I don't know, I went, jumped into a, some, I was throwing that stuff and I jumped and I got hurt. I just, you know, it hurts my shoulder, so they, so that's when they sent me back. You know. But uh, that was it. I, that's why I missed the bulge. Okay. But I, but uh, then I was in the hospital. I went to France. I went to uh, the, then I ended up back in England. Was uh, what was treatment like in the hospitals? It wasn't bad. But, you know, they had a lot of guys. But they they couldn't help you much at all. Mm -hmm. You know, especially the guys were, you know, were beat up bad. So, but I, you know, I, uh, I had, a, you know, I had, uh, look, you know, we got trapped a lot too, and uh, uh, when in France, yeah, we got trapped. You, uh, when you get out of the hospital, what, what happened at that point? Well, they they brought. I was ready. I, I was. What happened? I I went there. I said, "Jesus, I think I think I you know I had enough. You know, right here I got Africa, Sicily, France. You know, I had seven 
several campaigns. Oh, you know, Jesus, I, you know, uh, and the guy I had, the, the captain, was a drunk. He drank all the liquor that we had there. He was a doctor. He was a drunk. There's no so, uh, he, what he did, he, he didn't like me. He, we were in England. He bust me. Even though I was, you know, uh, fight for, you know, doing for morale of the troops. But uh, he bust me for nothing, you know, just, just so, uh, you know, that broke my heart. I didn't, you know, but I still, uh, I still did my job because, mm -hmm. you know, well, I was supposed to try, you know, I did what I could. I wasn't, uh, I didn't know nothing about that medic stuff, but uh, <laughs> I wanted out. Mm -hmm. But I joined the paratroopers. And they, then they found out about that, and Jesus, I got out. They put me on KP seven weekends. So when the captain found out that you joined the paratroopers, he wasn't happy? No, I wanted to get out. Oh, the major. We had a major. major. No, I wanted out because I didn't know nothing about that. I didn't have no education for that. You know, Jesus, then I, you know. But I ended up being a... A damn good medic. I used to give the shots. Mm -hmm. I, really, I did all that. Now, was the training for a medic pretty good? We didn't have no training. You had no training. When I went in, they didn't have no schools. After that, they did. They had Camp Pickett, and then they had a place in, I think, Ticket, or in Texas, I think. But initially, they just said, you're a medic. No. Then I said, I want out. I want to do it. See what happened. I, uh, when I was trying to get out all the time, you know, they had the uh, paratroopers, you know, we had 82nd Airborne there, and they cracked up. So who the hell they call us guys? <laughs> guys so I go out, go out there, and there's, well, I, no, I want to uh, get ahead of what happened. I got on emergency duty, right? So the guy had a carbuncle. So uh, the doctor was pulling that string out, so I fainted. <laughs> so I came true. So when I come true, he said, who the hell put you in here? I said, I don't know. <laughs> I want to get out. <laughs> so, it's not good to have a medic that faints. So, so he says, I'll get you out. He's full of shit. He never got me. So anyway, I went over there. I got, they had a uh, prior proof was crafted. Cracked up, you know, the plane. There's about 18 guys got broken legs, and the pilot got his head over like that. So I went in there, and I'm taking a pilot to the hospital. He was alive yet, or he's. He had, finally, he died on the way over. <laughs> so I come back. I went and got down the PX8. I tried to. I had my lunch and everything. Uh, not the PX, uh, the you know the. Well, we served the food, right? I was all right. Then I was, didn't bother me at all. But, you know, after what you see, guys with legs blown off and stuff. So, so I, I was glad to help people. I was, you know, I, was, I helped a lot of guys. So that made you feel good? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then I didn't want to get out. I wanted to stay in. Because mm -hmm. you were doing something, you know. The best one was when I was in France. Uh, uh, we were, uh, they were really knocking the hell out of us, uh, the, the Germans. So, so a guy wouldn't get out of the foxhole. So, uh, so I go back, I go down, I did holler medics, so I went down. They go down, and I had to get on top of them because they were shooting like hell. So he said, uh, uh, I said, you got to get out of here. Let's go. No, no, I know. He said, I, I don't want to get out. I want to see a priest. I said, Jesus, I said, you, you don't want a priest to come up here. No, I, I want to see a priest. So I said, okay. So I went back, and I'm, they're shooting like hell at me. I'm going over this way, that way. 
from finally I got back, I seen a priest. I said, he wants to see you. I ain't going to go there. He <laughs> cried, I said, uh oh. So I had to go back. <laughs> so I went back doing this. So I got in there. I got on top of him. I Jesus Christ, you're going to get killed and I'm going to get killed. You better get out of here. Let's get out. I want the priest. So I said, okay, I go. I went back again. So I get to the priest. I said, he wants you. I'm not going to go there. So, okay. So I had to go back. I said, look, if you're going to get killed, I'm going to get killed. You better get your ass out of here. Or we don't. So finally he come up. He got out. We went over to, so the priest, when he, the priest gave general absolution. The guy was all right. He was, you know, ended up being, you know, a good soldier. <laughs> so, funny part about it, after the war, I went to Siena, you know, and I had, I used to scout for them. In fact, the guy that brought me up here is, a, I got him as a ball player for Siena, right? So, Jack Curry. So I went up to see uh, see him because I got him as a as a player. So who the hell did he go to there with that priest? He was in Siena. Holy Christ, he didn't want to see me. You know? <laughs> so the next time I went back, I went there, he shipped out. He went to St. Bonaventure. Small world. Was it? Nice, nice, yeah. So, so once, um, let's see, you came, uh, you were in the hospital in England, then you came back. Yeah. And, uh, well, I went up to a reviewing board. Oh, now what was that all about? Well, they wanted to, uh, want to either back to your outfit or, you know. Okay. So I said to him, uh, you know, well, Jesus, don't you think I had enough? You know, I, you know, and uh, I, I would have went back, but they had this captain who was a drunk that bust me. This is this is the honest truth. See, yeah, I, I would have went back, but he was uh, a drunk. And he drank all, you know, and uh, he, you know, and he wanted me to come back to the outfit. That's how much he wanted. And then I grabbed him and I threw him up against the wall. The captain. Yes, sir. That's the only. I'm sure nobody was around. Yes, there was. Oh. All the guys wanted me to come back. They knew that I, you know, what I could do. Mm -hmm. uh, they told, and then he said, I want you back. I said, you know, I ain't coming back. That's when I, you know, I told him, and then I ended up in Germany. That's when I got hurt. So you then. But, so what outfit did you go with? Uh, some general hospital. Okay. And I boxed over there, everything. I boxed and I went to, uh, ETO championships that I fought uh, uh, with Billy Kahn one night. He was on a card. You heard of him, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. He was on a card. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he was, <laughs> but, uh, but that, that was it. That, you know, I did that. Then I, I did it maybe two months. Then I got, I had 165 points. So you ended up uh, leaving when? I left in uh, July 11th. 45. 45. I was one of the first guys home. So what was it like them back home? Well, it was, you know, you, you, I got drunk all the time. What the hell? Shit. You know, my mother said, you're going to end up in jail. Yeah. I did, you know, but then I finally came to my senses and I stopped drinking, like, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, I went in business. I was there for 20 years. Mm -hmm. Then I got a job in a paper. You know, I was done a lot of bad bills, collecting and stuff. <coughs> Circulation, I helped out. But, uh, but that was, uh, you know, and then I became a supervisor. In the county, I'm um, uh, uh, be 40 years, 12 years at, uh, as an alderman, and uh, 28 as a supervisor. 
It's a pretty good run. Yeah. Well, I help a lot of people, you know. For being a guy that commanded a gunner, I think I did good. I think so. Yeah. If, um, if you could summarize your experience in the service, how would you do that? Well, I'll tell you, if it wasn't for the, the service, I wouldn't be a, what I am today. So it was a good experience for you? Yeah. Was it really, uh, uh, you know, I had a lot of bad times, but uh, they made me. I, I you know, uh, you know uh, I was a, you know, always, well, I never thought I was going to get anywhere. You know, but getting all these medals and all like that, you know, that helped me out a lot. Mm -hmm. and, you know, a guy backed me in business, you know, stuff like that. You know, I, uh, I was, uh, but I had to, being in service was a, really, I learned a lot. I learned more there than I went to school. What type of lessons uh, did you learn? Well, you know, I learned how to do uh, medication stuff and like that, and you know, give shots and uh, short arm inspections. I did them kitchen kitchen inspections. So you had a lot of responsibility for. Uh, uh, you know, I you know did uh, I was with the the, the the captain. You know, even though I was a private, he took me. Uh, you know, he liked me, the first captain. Right. You know, the first stop. But he, uh, you know, he. In fact, you know, and then I got a job in the PX there, but, you know, clicking tickets. But, but anyway, uh, if it wasn't for the Army, I, mean, I wouldn't be who I am today. Because I, I made a, you know, I got a good name. Well, you can see the paper, you know. Uh, uh, and I, that's what did it. Do you have any other thoughts you'd like to share with us? Uh, that's. I married. I married a, a nurse, a good, a good top nurse. And if what, and I, I lost her in '90, and uh, she was a head nurse for 36 years. I got a son, a good son. He works for the state. He's a youth youth director. He was, and and then he and I. You know, I, I, everything, I've been pretty lucky after, you know, I, a lot of stuff fell in place. You know, and uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm happy to be here. I was, I'm lucky I almost went out here uh, about two years ago. I had a slight stroke of pneumonia. And the doctor told my son to put, put me in a home. That's, and, but I, I came up to Cahoes here and at mm -hmm. Eddie's, and, I, and they did a good job. I worked, you know, mm -hmm. so. Well, thank you very much, sir. Yeah. We appreciate it. Well, I'm glad. There's a lot of stuff you don't, you know, you go to, to get it a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, like a lot of, like I was trapped a couple of times and I, you know, got out of that. How were you trapped? Oh, we got trapped. You know, uh, we were in the... What happened, uh, they broke through, the Germans did, right? So we're in the, we're in a, I'm in a wadi, and they had all the, we're knocking guys at, yeah. So they had a, so there was four or five of them, Germans over there. Shooting at him. so this guy they hit one of the guys, so I'm I'm in the, I'm in this swatty, and uh, he said uh, uh, the guy said help me, help I said every time I went to go and help him there was there was a German had a machine gun on on me, so I said Jesus Christ you want me to get killed I said I'll wait and we get so finally somebody shot him, one of the guys right. So I got on top of the guy, you know, but I said, well, I'll got be right back. Well, the German was still alive. I went over there, I kicked him in the head. You know, then he died after that. But he had me, you know, and this guy, you know, finally, this, I was on top of this, you know, I saved him mm -hmm. and everything. Then he, 
I met him on a boat. Yeah, the guy. He was a uh, he was a first uh, he was a sergeant. Then he you know got shot up pretty bad. That was one time I got trapped. Then I got in a police gap. I got trapped. How'd that happen? Well, we were shooting these, these things like up in the air. <laughs> they were coming back on us. I what the hell are we? So I'm helping a guy to shoot. You know, I said, "Geez, I want to get the hell out of here." So we uh, we finally got out of there, but I got trapped there twice. What did you think of the Germans as a soldier? Well, they were they were t you know you know who was tough, the SSS, and then we had them for the time, and then you, uh, the African Corps. Oh, they were, they were bitches. They were t tough. You know, they kicked the hell out of us. We didn't do nothing over there in Africa. Mm -hmm. Anybody said they are crazy. They, they were, they had, if they didn't, if they had two, two army, English had the first and the eighth over there. The first came on us and the eighth was there. Mm -hmm. That's who won, that's who had to have done. He didn't want to fight him. We didn't have, we only had a court. And, uh, you know, they, uh, so do you think uh, North Africa, uh, Italy, Sicily, or Europe was the toughest? Well, North Africa was because we didn't have nothing. We're the most poorly equipped uh, army that ever went to combat. Shit, we didn't have clothes even. That was, you know, when I first went over, we invaded. Yeah, I didn't tell you, I, we invaded uh, Africa. The goddamn rope busted from the, the Higgins boats. You know what they are, don't you? We're all in there, and the rope busted, <coughs> and all the stuff came out. It came, come, crap, and it come on us. And uh, we were all full of that crap. And so the captain said, hey, you stop that, son. I said, you ain't going to stop that. So we went over there. We're all jumping in. If we had any opposition, we all would have got killed. So we all, uh, that's we're making the invasion. Mm -hmm. So we had to jump in the sea, to, you know, try to get that crap. We never got it off. We didn't get a change of clothes until we went to Sicily. That's how bad it was. But then we had all the heavy stuff. We didn't have that, uh, you know, khakis or stuff. You had wool? Yeah. So we had wool over there, you know, hot, stink, and, you know, over there. And, uh, Hey, the Arabs just go out and just lift their dress up or anyone. They went out in the field. They have no toys. <laughs> was funny as hell. Was it? But I, you know, they, but, uh, that was uh, that, that just going. We were lucky. I'm tired. I was uh, lucky. Now, if they had any opposition, we would have only got killed. So you were so, better equipped once you hit Sicily? Well, no, nah, it wasn't even that. We were there, you know, it wasn't that. It wasn't that good until we got in France. Then they had the big guns, you know, but we didn't have them. You know, they, they had, had all the big guns, just like, you know, I was, uh, you know, I mean, I had, we're like we're in, we're in France at one time. We were there, uh, they, I'm up in the CP, you know, big shot. I'm up there screwing around, and the guy says, so all of a sudden, the, our stuff dropped short, right? Artillery. So the colonel said, get your ass up there. <laughs> so I'm, I shouldn't even been there. I put people, you know, I'm just one of you. I go up there, and holy shit, there's a guy up in the tree, German. You know, you couldn't see him. He had that. He's shooting at me. I'm over there. I'm over there. So I didn't get hit. So I went over there. I tried to take care of them guys. I couldn't take care of them. They were all shit. They were all split up. Hard stuff. So, so I could come back. He still wanted to get, hit me. You know, he's shooting. So finally, they had a, a, a tank, and they blew the goddamn pillbox out that was there. And all them guys, the soldiers came out with their hands up, and the two girls. So I, I kicked them in the ass, two of the girls. Then 
the guy up the tree, he came down, and I kicked the hell out of him. I it was all over him. Because, you know, he was... <laughs> so I never went up the PTP after that. It was a good place to stay away from. Oh, Jesus, I was, you know, what... And here, them guys was here back there, and I saw, you know, they were safe. <laughs> but we had a lot of artillery that dropped short. Really? Yeah, that was like in, uh, what the hell was it? Uh, right near Oran. But, uh, that was Magenta, I think it was. Yeah, Magenta. They took the guys into the African campaign out. They all went out and they started shooting our artillery over and they dropped short, killed a bunch of guys. That was after the African campaign. Any other? Uh... Well, that was the most, you know, uh, but them uh, were the most, uh, well, I had a lot of them, you know, but uh, you just can't really, you know, yeah, but I, I was, uh, I would have to, I had to tell you, I, had to, I, met, I met guys that I saved. Then I was with two Congressional of Honor winners that they got the one was one the most decorated in World War II was Matt Urban. He could just die here a couple, any other guy died last year, uh, D'Alessandro. Mm -hmm. They were with me. Well, the other guy was uh, I was on the boxing team. Oh, really? <coughs> yeah. Then the other guy was he was an incollegiate heavyweight champ, Cornell. His name was Urban. Did well, he went. Didn't yeah. do any boxing after the war. No. No. no yeah. I, I I was walking straight. Yeah, I wasn't walking. You know, some of these guys you see my deal like this. One too many hits to the head, huh? Yeah. Well, I got a retina now, and uh, they want to operate on that. See, I had cataracts, but uh, I don't know what the hell I do. <coughs> I came up here to bet the memorial, but uh, I, uh, he said, you, want, you got to operate on it because uh, this, I had the cataract. They didn't, they didn't see to it, but this one came out good. Any other? Uh, well, that's about. Uh, okay. I can tell you that you know that I did. There's a lot of. Hey, I was in there four years, seven months. You know, and uh, <laughs> it's a pretty good tour. Yeah. No, I, I was glad that I was. You know that I like I said, if it wasn't for the army, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I, I got a lot of uh, you know. I'm a supervisor. Mm -hmm. you know, and, well, uh, we appreciate you coming up. Thank you very much.